in its search for evidence of ancient microbial life on Mars, Perseverance collected the most promising samples early in the mission at a place affectionately known as the Bacon Strip. Now it may have come across another one. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Perseverance parked on an island of terrain in the middle of Neretva Vallis, an ancient river channel that helped build the Delta Fan in Jezero Crater billions of years ago. Note that the grayscale portion means that a color image from the high-rise camera is not available here. The island proved to contain an assortment of treasures in the form of unusual rocks, unlike any seen before on Mars. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The notably light tone one is especially intriguing, as I noted in the previous episode, but I'll provide a bit more analysis in this one. Some of the dark grains have distorted hexagonal shapes that look strikingly similar to the euhedral hornblende crystals in this sample of diorite from the Henry Mountains in the U.S. state of Utah. Euhedral crystals like these, ones with well-defined shapes, are the result of slow growth in an underground magma chamber. There are other rocks with a similar look nearby. It's possible that the Neretva River, cut down into a shallow magma chamber, referred to as a sill or lacolith, and carried pieces downriver, depositing them as rounded boulders on terrain that became this treasure island. The team chose to move on from this spot in favor of pursuing the geologic terrain that's been a long-term target of scientific interest. The feature dubbed Bright Angel could possibly represent much older rocks that make up the rim of Jezero Crater. But instead of striking out on a westward path, Perseverance drove north. A closer look shows that the Bright Angel terrain extends to the east, but is mostly covered by large sand ripples. We can still see it following the channel margin, and then more fully reappearing north of Treasure Island. So, this is why Perseverance was commanded to go north. It could get a sneak peek at the material that composes the Bright Angel unit. Here's the view from the ground. I had a sense of deja vu seeing the surface from the rover perspective. It's covered in flaky bits that are the erosional remnants of layered outcrop, evident from portions that are still intact. The flaky portions remind me of very similar ones observed by Perseverance much earlier in the mission. Here's the view on Sol 449 just over two years ago. Perseverance had arrived at the front of the delta deposit and was exploring its lowest layers. The flakiness here also results from layered sedimentary outcrops that have been mostly reduced to rubble by erosion. This train is just below that of the Bacon Strip, a feature with a colloquial name that needs no further explanation. It just looks like one. But of course, it's made of rocks, which in this case are the finest grain ones encountered in the entire mission. Their grain size qualifies them as mudstones, or perhaps fine siltstones, which, given their geologic context at the bottom of a delta deposit, means they'd be good at trapping and preserving organic matter. On Earth, delta mudstones typically have lots of organic matter from living organisms. On Mars, this remains to be seen, hopefully with the analysis of returned samples. The Bacon Strip is not limited to just this location. It wraps around the delta front and was visited by Perseverance in this location, and found to have comparable rocks. But wait, there's more. It continues on around the tendrils of the delta fan with variable exposures, sometimes mostly covered by sand ripples, and elsewhere beautifully exposed. The trail appears to run cold somewhere along the edge of the margin unit, the treacherous carbonate-bearing terrain explored by Perseverance for nearly nine months. But Continuing north, we reach Neretva Vallis and the Bright Angel feature, which share similarities with the original Bacon Strip, the OBS. So, 
Given the similarities both from the ground and from orbit, we're now left with a question, a hypothesis, of whether Bright Angel is another bacon strip, maybe even filled with organic goodness.